Okay, so we're here to talk about Battlefield Aftermath, and you're watching Connected Digital World. Later this year, EA will be releasing the next expansion pack for Battlefield 3. This one's called Aftermath and takes place directly after the earthquake we saw towards the start of the original Battlefield 3 game. We talked to producer Craig McLeod about the expansion pack, the new maps, some of the vehicles and some other things. Enjoy the interview. Uh, my name is Craig McLeod. I'm the producer for Battlefield 3 Aftermath. So tell us a little bit about Aftermath. Okay, so Aftermath is the fourth expansion pack for Battlefield 3. It takes place after the single player story epic event of the Toronto earthquake. So where our players will have played and experienced that, now we're starting from a different side. So those soldiers which were stranded in this earthquake or rising from the ashes, they're here to continue the fight with what they have. Why that particular part of the game? Uh, so there's two reasons why we've gone down this route. One is because if we look back at our previous expansion packs, so we have Close Quarters, which was tight infantry gameplay, Armory Kill, which was the biggest map we've ever done, and like huge expensive vehicle warfare. We want something that felt every player can enjoy. It wasn't just aimed at one audience. So this encompasses both infantry and vehicle gameplay. The other thing that we want to do is we want to tell a story. And we found that this event in the single player was actually a really good place to start from. Everyone knows it, everyone kind of stirred up some emotions when they saw that building falling on the soldier. And so we wanted you to sort of pick up from that place and carry on the fight. What's new in this particular expansion? So to give a real high level overview, what's new is four new maps, three new vehicles, one new weapon, one new mode and we have the usual 10 new assignments and dog tags and five achievements and trophies. So to talk a little bit about the maps, we have two on display today. So we have Epicenter, which is centered around a huge crossroads which has been broken up and torn up by the earthquake. And we have Marquez Monolith. So this is set around, I mean the focal point is really a huge skyscraper where the earthquake has cracked open the bottom and created actually a shopping mall inside which is now open, four tiers of gameplay. Because uh, we're really looking at vertical gameplay as well as the normal horizontal gameplay. So our other two maps are Azadi Palace, which focuses around a large parliament building. Again, ravaged by the earthquake, creating almost a maze of tunnels. And we have Tala Market, which is a hillside village. Again, we have some tight streets for infantry. We have some more open areas like the town square for vehicles. And some neat little tricks put in there as well. So tell us a little bit about the new vehicles you mentioned. So we have three new vehicles. We have the Phoenix, which is the US, new US vehicle, and this is a modified Humvee. For the Russians, we have the Barsuk, which is a modified Vodnik. And for both sides, we have the Rhino, which is actually a modified civilian van. So I use the term modified a lot, and the reason I'm doing this is because we want to convey that not only the soldiers were caught in the earthquake, but also the vehicles. They would have been thrown into cracks created in the roads, rubble will have destroyed them. So the engineers really need to salvage what they could from the surrounding area, repair it by welding on steel plates, adding new grills, and of course in true battlefield fashion we've increased the firepower on two of these. So the Phoenix and the Barsuk now have two uh, gunner positions. One's a heavy machine gun and the other is a grenade launcher. So how big is this new expansion pack? Uh, so if we're looking at the maps, uh, it's very much similar to back to car camp studies. Uh, so it's not as big as Armored Kill, and it's definitely much, much bigger than Close Quarters. Uh, we wanted to give something that was in the mid-range for this pack. And when is it out? So this is out on the 27th of November for PS3 premium users, and the 4th of December for Xbox and PC premium. Excellent, thank you very much. Thank you.